is always a championship valid, but a championship, uh, I think US came today, they were, were well prepared, they ran a fast time. So all it says is that we just need to go back to the drawing board, I have a lot of work to do. I think the team has a lot of work to do, so it makes it more excited for the showdown in Berlin, so it's good. Beijing. <laughs> Beijing, sorry. <laughs> Um, I'm asking to their American team that uh, today is the first position that you you uh, beat uh, Jamaica. Then how's it feeling now? So I'm asking to the everybody. You know, I think we were more focused on getting the stick around. You know, for the last couple of years we have not done that very successfully. So tonight wasn't really a focus on um, a, a certain country to beat. It was more just us working together as a team and getting the stick around. Anybody else? Ready? Yeah, to the, to the US guys, it seemed like uh, that meant an enormous amount, the, the win. Can I ask Tyson on that, perhaps, um, to start how much that meant? And, and also for you, Tyson, whether you felt a bit of a point to prove after some of the comments that, that you said in, in, in the lead up about you? I mean, eventually, always feel good. You know, as far as the comments, you know, you know, that's his opinion, I respect his opinion, and uh, that's just the way it is. But, you know, it felt good to get a victory, you know, and um, Jamaica's always going to be a tough competition. We know they're going to be ready at World Championships. We hope to be ready, and like Gallon said, we were just focused on trying to get the sticks around and go from there. Uh, to Japan, congratulations and welcome to the Bahamas. Is your first time in the Bahamas? Ah, uh, we need an interpreter. Here we go. Second time in the Bahamas. <laughs> And y'all came third. Very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Very happy you came third. Very good. I'm going to ask you to ask them a few questions for us, please. Go ahead. Um, I asked a question, how do you feel about the bronze medal? He said it among the, um, the this competitor, great competitor like U.S. and Jamaica, and Billy Harvey. I'm enjoying it, though they are, it was a rainy day, like the first few days we are here, but today we had a great weather, so I had so much fun to run. And also Fujimitsu got their birthday of yesterday. Thank you. How, how many of them ran on the uh, team at the World Juniors last year, and did that help them for this I mean, meet? Kiryu is the only one. He was the uncle. He was the second leg in the world union, but the silver. Is this the first time that Japan has won a bronze medal in a 4 by one Second time. <laughs> we got the bronze in Beijing Olympic and the bronze. To the American team, welcome to the Bahamas. Uh, I know a few of you came in last year. Um, on the same, was this the same team you had last year? Uh, no, this is my first time in the Bahamas, so I, I wasn't here last year. Okay, and you made a difference, apparently. You, you, you ran the ankle leg. Um, I want to say I made a difference. I, you know, I couldn't do it without the lead that my team gave me, so all I had to do was just run for my best. Okay. Now, if you want to make it short, is there any more questions? Oh, this is the last two questions, and we're going to ask them. Let them go. This is American, more so Tyson and Justin. I, both of you guys served drug suspensions, and Dennis had the drug suspension as well. How do you guys, what does that say to some youngster in America that you can compete clean? 
because at some point both of you guys decided that you, you couldn't. So how do you assure people that you're competing, competing clean now? Well, for my situation, um, can you hear me? For my situation, you know, um, I've never deceived any kid in the world, no America, that they can't do anything if they put their hard work into it. You know, but um, at the end of the day, um, my situation was understood by three organizations and they understood it was a mistake and that um, I went down the wrong path believing believe in some supplements were clean, which they weren't. You know, so um, I would like to apologize to any kid, you know, who feel that they were deceived or think they can't do whatever they want. You know, and I would like to thank um, the Bahamas, um, a lot of the Caribbean um, countries, including Jamaica, for helping me out that meet and understanding my situation, you know. And um, so besides that, man, um, you know, the past is the past, you know, and um, I ask for forgiveness for a mistake, you know, but right now I'm moving forward. I double check everything and um, we go from there. Um, this is for both the Americans and the Jamaicans. I wonder how much you guys relish the rivalry with each other, how much you talk about it in your respective groups, and, and also how much it perhaps pushes you on in, in training. Like, again, both of you first thoughts would be great. I mean, <clears throat> at the end of the day, I have respect for these four guys that sit over here to my left for the comeback because they're hard competitors. You know, they, they built a legacy of winning. You know, so it ha we have to step up and rise to the occasion to be able to compete against them. So, I mean, if it's meant for us to, to clash, then we just clash. But at the end of the day, I do have respect for these guys. Um, as he said, it's, it's all about respect. We know that um, both teams work hard, always dedicated. The rivalry has been around for years, and I don't think it will stop when we all retire. But um, I enjoy this rivalry. Uh, it goes back and forth. We've been winning for a couple of years now. Um, I would like to keep winning, so it's all about just putting in the work and just looking forward to the showdown again. So I'm happy about the rivalry. Anybody else? <laughs> Anybody else? Good night. Hold on one second. Let's take one picture. Just get close right here for me, please.